Hi everyone, welcome to DD Economics Tutor. In this video, we are going to learn about for class 11 CBSE Statistics for Economics, fifth chapter Measures of Central Tendency Mode, that is by grouping table and analysis table with the help of this data. See the size 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, and 80 to 90. And the frequency values are 4, 10, 25, 15, 23, 22, and 12, and 3. So, by inspection, the model class is not clear. Pathina, although the class interval, that is 30 to 40, Pathina, highest frequency 25. So and the greatest concentration of the items is around class interval 50 to 60. So, 25 is the frequency of the class interval 23. If you have any board, you can find a customer. In the time, we grouping table to find out. So, grouping table is the number sizes. That is the class interval. Next, column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is the column wise. So, class interval 10 to 20 and their frequency. You should write their frequency in the column 1. That is the frequency on the column 1. Class interval on the size x. Column 2 is the first two values are add. Column 2 4 plus 10 is 14. 25 plus 50 is 40. 23 plus 22 is 45. 12 plus 3 is 15. Third column is the next 2 add. That is 10 is 25. That is 15 or 23 and 38. 22 plus 12 that is 34. This is the third column. Fourth column is the first three values add. Next three values add. Then fifth column is the second three values add. That is 10, 25, 15. Next is 23, 22, 12. And last column is the next three values add. That is 25, 15, 23. Then remaining three values. So, this is the grouping table. Analysis table, what do you think? Analysis table, first columns in this side, we will add values in this side. That is class in total. Now, column 1 is 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40. Column 1 is the highest frequency, 25. Then, 25 is one tick. Column 1 is 30 to 40 is one tick. Next pathing na column two la either highest frequency in parang 45. 45 in the end class interval na bad pano 50 to 60 yo, 60 to 70 yo. Column two la parang column two 50 to 60, 60 to 70. And column three parang either highest frequency 38. 38 either add pana karche the 40 to 50 yo, 50 to 60 add pana mga 38 karche the. Appa column three la. See column 3 ले इन्द इन्द वालियूस 42, 50 यों, 52, 60 यों. Next पाथिंग ना column 4. Column 4 ले highest frequency 60. इन्द 3 values add पन्नो 42, 50, 52, 60, 62, 70. नम्म यंग अधे इंगे टिक पन्नीटो. Next column 5. Column 5 ले पाथिंग ना 57. 52, 60, 62, 70, 72, 80. अधे इंगे नम्म टिक पन्नी आच्छे. Next is 6th column. 6th column is 63. That is 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. That is the number here. This is analysis table. This is analysis table. This is grouping table. Analysis table is complete. Grouping table is complete. Now, the total values of the ticks are 5. Now, this is the highest frequency. Highest value is 5. That 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 is 5. So, mode order formula pathina L plus D1 by D1 plus D2 into H. Normal max la pathina mode order formula vera mari irukon. Idhi statistics la class 11 la CBSE ki mode order formula idhi tha. L plus D1 plus D1 plus D2 into H. L enter the lower limit of the model class. D1 enter the difference between the frequency of model class and the frequency of class preceding the model class. When the model class order frequency, that order preceding value and difference between panamna, we call value kadega. That is D1. D2 and the difference between the frequency of the model class and the frequency of the class succeeding the model class. That is D2. H1 is the class interval of the distribution. If a class interval, we call it 50 to 60 because it is the highest frequency. We call it 50 to 60. Mode order formula L plus D1 divided by D1 plus D2 into H. So lower limit 50. D1 வந்து succeeding, that is preceding value. D1 வடாக preceding value பார்த்திக்கினா 23. 23 minus 15. அது D1. 23 minus 22, it's a D2. So class interval வந்து 
so 8 divided by 8 plus 1 into 10 58 by 9 into 10 8 divided by 9 we divide pannamna, 0 0.8 kedekon. idoda multiply pannamna, 8 so 50 plus 8 58 i hope you are all understand the concept of mode in measures of central tendency for class 11 cbse statistics for economics share subscribe and comment my channel thank you